Welcome back to LNL Huntington Homestead. How are y'all today? I'm excited to walk out here. It's early in the morning. I done got cleaned up and everything. Looks like I'm very sleepy, but I slept very well. And it's been raining, raining and thunderstorming all morning long. So I just wanted to come out here and jump out here and see what's going on in the garden. So let's check things out. So yeah, as you can see, that ground is very wet, very wet. And we've been debating back and forth as far as the straw or the um, weed cover. It's just so messy out here. <laughs> what do you think, yeah? Me and myself, I think we should go with the straw. Because we we're trying to build up on the weed cover for the future plans. Y'all see how that comes together. <clears throat> but, uh, you know, we'll go with the straw for right now. That's what I think. How she want to do it? I'm fine with it. Yeah. So we're going to have to just get a bunch of straw. We're going to lay it pretty heavy out here. So that way... Um, it can kind of suppress those weeds and everything gets down on the end. So as he's working around the garden beds with his new little uh, weed whacker, we'll be able to get all that straw down and kind of maintain a whole lot of that stuff. And like you said, you know, saving up and getting the accumulation of the weed fabric for the future homestead that's um a good route to go right as far as that so um yeah we're nowhere near prepared as far as what's on our feet to walk out here <laughs> so <clears throat> uh, we just thought we'll come on and talk to you for a little while so we're gonna sit down and talk for a minute and that right that's right all right so I'm going to set the camera up and we're going to talk. Okay, people. So we're going to start from the rooter to the tutor. Okay. So this is the thing. We've had some questions that came up on our feed and wondering when are you going to get out there on that homestead? Well, with one income, which is L, since he had that accident, we're on one income. Okay, one. And so we're trying to save up this little change for us, the survey to get done. So when you're inherited some money, I mean, inherited some land, you're going to have to get your little spot, pick out your spot for them to survey it. So that way you have yours out of the way. And that's what we're working on, getting that survey and saving that change up to get it done, okay? So that's why it's taking us a minute, all right? And we're gonna show you from the beginning to the end on that, because there's a lot of people out here that don't know what a survey is. Survey is when you're trying to get, you know, you're getting your portion of land unless you're buying your own and they have it already done for you, the survey, so that way you know how many acres you have. So that's what we're doing. So we're trying to get up this little money. It's not a whole lot, but it's a lot when it's just one income coming in. So that's why it's taking a minute for us to get out there on the homestead. It's kind of slowing things down. We're antsy, but it's it's a process. Right. So I feel like if you uh feel like you just stated, let's say you go get some land and it haven't been surveyed, but you can't run into raw land that's like that. Now you got to be surveyed, and I want to make sure that I show you step by step what they do. You know, when I get ready to get it done, that way you see exactly how they do it. Because you know, it's one thing to actually see it, 
thing instead of raising it. Mm -hmm. you, know, you know, it helped a whole lot of people, I feel like. Right. And so we're going to go from that. Uh, you know, that's where we at. She done drew out how she want to put things. But like I told her, you know, if it's surveyed, then we can really look at it. You be looking at it with us. You can comment on it. Give us your ideas. Maybe to help us along the way also. Where to put what. First thing I want to do is put a garden up. Get that started. You know, find out what we're going to put. You know, like a trailer or whatever. I mean, once I get it surveyed, I need to get something so I can just be out there and, and work away at it. And, uh, <clears throat> instead of coming all the way back here, going back and forth. Right. So if you're in the northwest, southwest part of Tennessee, all right, hit us up. We got an email address down below so that way we'll know. If you got a little small camper or something like that, we can fix it up and we can be out there every day filming for y'all because the distance from here to there is a, over a little hour drive. Okay, so that'll keep us from having to do all that extra driving when we don't have nothing, you know, to kind of set camp up over there. And keep in mind that if someone you know, they probably have a double wide. Mm -hmm. or something of that nature uh, you know they want to get it off their property I'll be glad to come by and look at it they take pictures of it send it to me and then you know well, I just set the paper to get moved so I'm planning on doing everything where I won't have no bill right you know, I want to pay as I go yeah we want to be debt free mm -hmm. so that way we won't have to worry about paying um, no banks back or anything like that, be debt free. You know what I'm saying? We'll be able to just get it and pay cash for everything and that way everything will be paid for. And even if it's a fixer upper, you take the pictures, be honest, you know, like just what's wrong with it, if you can do this, whatever, mm -hmm. whatever. That would help out tremendously. Yeah. So and then that way, you know, I know what I'm up against. Then once I get it there how we got to go about it. Right, exactly. And then I can go from there because I know people that do stuff like that. Ever since I had an accident, I used to do all kinds of stuff like that, but I can't. No. Right. And then before I finish this video, I just want to say this is my new little toy. <laughs> I was looking forward to using it again. Ooh, it's wonderful, especially with my condition. And then it started raining. Yeah, we, we went through all the rain, y'all. Every time I look on my phone, it says it's going to rain for the next couple of days. And I'm sitting up here like, wow. Rain, rain, and rain. It's a good thing in a sense because you're seeing everything come out as far as in the garden. Because it's needing that good rain. And then the next minute is not good because there's more weeds. Well, and <laughs> if you got a rain jacket with the hood and all that. I get out there and do it in the rain. <laughs> I got to, you know, I'm on a mission because it's easier for me, you know. I mean, it's like picking up a, a yardstick to me. <laughs> right. <laughs> it's not like pushing a, pushing a vacuum cleaner. It is very light, yeah. I can yeah. trim everything up and make it look good out here. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah, yeah, that's... I wanted to get with you all because it has been a minute because we've been talking to each other and figuring out how to plan, you know, and everything like that. So, mm -hmm. uh, every little bit helps, you know, if you able to <coughs> help us out, that's fine. Because it's going to be, you're going to see it, it's going to be going on from the start to the finish. And it won't be no 12 or 15 minute videos anymore. Mm -hmm. Once we get out there, y'all gonna have a long, drawn out videos. It's gonna be a good storyline on everything that we do. And we're gonna tell y'all what we're gonna do. We probably might not even talk much. You're gonna just be seeing us do things. But I'll be talking, you might not be talking much. No, I'm camera shy. But um, he's a lot of camera shy. But uh, you know, but we'll, um, you'll see the titles and what, what we're gonna be doing and stuff like that. 
and eventually he'll slowly come out of his camera shy and show you things. I hope. <laughs> I hope. I hope. Let's pray. Let's pray. But um, yeah, so we'll be doing that. And also, while we're talking about it, we do have another channel, okay? We do have another channel, and we're working on that channel as well, too, as we speak and building up a lot of videos for y'all. So, um, we're not going to tell you the name of it yet, so don't ask. <laughs> <laughs> so people that's been around us and seen when we went out there to check out the land and she filmed it. Yeah. That's pretty much the beginning that you know what it is, where it's at, mm -hmm. and so forth and so on. Look at how it looks. Yeah. And then I'm just yeah. trying to get out the money. Like, yeah. Anyway. Yeah. So, yeah. Oh, it's therapeutic for me. Mm hmm. I worked there since I was 14, so, you know, now that I can't. I can throw away with stuff or I can use this for mm -hmm. people are actually gonna listen. You know, because I I'll be good. Right. So yeah, um, but we will tell you what the channel name is. Mm -hmm. But we're trying to get this change up. So that we get the change up. We're gonna give you some inputs down there in the description below. But uh, you know, all the audience and stuff like that. If you're willing to want to donate, if you want to donate, you know, you, you most welcome can. So we'll have all that information down there in the description box below. But we're going to, you know, when we get this money built up to get that done, y'all, we're going to be headed out there and we're going to be shooting a whole lot of videos for you. And you'll be able to know what the channel name is. So we'll have this one still. We'll still have this channel. But we'll have that other name for the other channel because we're going to be transitioning from here to there. You're going to see us moving things from here to there. Everything. You're going to start seeing everything just come to life. Come to life. Every yeah. step by step. Mm-hmm. And then, you know, we happen to be this way because you see her garden now. Can you imagine from the back to the front and some? Yeah. And she going to do a canning. She's gonna do all of that. If you've been on her channel, you see she do all of that. It's gonna get full. Yeah, it's gonna be really you know, more in depth. But then if you happen to be out, be like, I'm gonna go back here. Mm-hmm. Yep. We're gonna have a there little bit go. of everything out there. Because you're... you tuned in to us and so forth and so on. And, and mm -hmm. you're like, we have a basket budget. Yeah. Look, you. We're gonna be doing a lot of produce. We're gonna be selling a lot of produce. We're gonna be um, raising uh, um, the first animal anyway. It's gonna be our chickens. <laughs> you see, you see how he looked. He thought it was gonna be something else. I said we're gonna raise a lot of chickens because we're gonna be selling a lot of eggs and um, and, processing. and processing them and doing all of that, showing in detail how to do that. We'll have a processing station. Everything that we're talking about, everything is gonna be built for that particular thing that on you know, anything that we do you and know then, like you go to the stores these days and things are so high <laughs> you're going to get a chicken that's high you know you might have pork eventually yeah and uh stuff like that you know what i'm saying if you're buying it like that you don't have to worry about the tax right with us right. we got to keep on putting back in to keep it going Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, the more you stick with us, the cheaper it's going to get for you. Yep. Because we're going to show you all the nicks and cranians on everything mm -hmm. on how you can save your money as well, too. I mean, we tell a lot of people now how we're saving, and they like, you know, they never knew how to save or whatever or try to put back something and things like that. That's just something that we do. But like I said, it's just one income. It makes it a little bit harder you know, to try to just get it all in one building. Cause you know, when he was working, we would have had it a long time ago. Yeah, I'd have had that in one week. Yeah, but, so. Uh, you know, we didn't like that anymore. Uh, I don't want to go for no drinks and stuff like that because the interest rate and so forth. So I'll be paying forever. Paying forever. No. Yes. And that's the reason why I say about uh, double wise, single wise, whatever. You know, if it needs some work done to it, I'd rather get that 
you know, as long as it's cheap or they want to get it off their property. And then, I, you know, you got to pay somebody to pull it and pull it out there. And once they get it set and everything, then I can start working on the inside, getting that done, doing everything. And we'll be showing you everything, every, steps, every step of the way. You have a significant other. You know what I mean, guys? They want things certain way. <laughs> so, and I will give you this much. Look, when you do something like this, take your significant other out there and be like, I'm going to do this one time. Don't be changing your mind. Mm -hmm. I'm not changing my mind. Once I get it done, oh, I can't get me to go. No. No, I don't play that. <laughs> no. So, yeah. We done talked it through. I don't do that play play. Right. We done no play play here. So, yeah, we done thought it through. We done drew everything out. We really got, you know, we went back and forth, back and forth. And so now we got a battle plan. There's no changing. It is what it is. And we just excited. And the other thing, too, since we sat there and said we do have another channel as well, um, I almost lost my train of thought, y'all. Yeah. What was it? On your mind, though. I know, right. It's, it's so exciting, though. He'll come back and tell me. But anyway, yeah, but we'll have it down in the description below on everything that we're talking about on, you know, you know, email and all that. It's down there below in the description box. But, um, yeah, the channel name, we will be able to tell you that. And um, if you're in the Northwest, Southwest area, We'll let you know, you know, hey, if you got anything that you're trying to get rid of, as far as a single wide, double wide, a little camper, we can fix that up, take it out there so that we're there 24-7 getting this garden, getting this homestead, putting it all together, all that together. You know what I'm saying? So we're just really excited about it, really excited about it. And that's the reason why it's taking this this long to get out there because we're trying to build this change up. Right. You know, we're patient, but that's the reason why. You gotta be patient. That was our father <laughs> Sarah said. Patience is the virtue. Right. And so, you know, um, there's a lot of things that I want to do out here. You know, I'm limited. I'm limited and there's a reason and that's the reason. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't want to put too much out here into this garden, like how I really, really want it to be, how I want it to boom. But right now we got enough. But we got it. Come up, it's gonna last us all year. Mm -hmm. So we know how to, you know, make things stretch with the plant that's gonna last us over the winter and over to the next following year, because we got you know a lot of things that are up there in the cabinets that's full of food from last year. So. You know, um, we're really grateful that we was able to get an abundance of food from last year's, um, last season's gardening and everything. So, um, building up our chickens, you know, meat chickens. We're gonna have all that. We're gonna tell you what we're gonna get. You know what I'm saying? Take up, so we're gonna have classes, you know? Yeah, so that way y'all can see what's going on if you're in this area. So you're going to be seeing a whole lot and getting a lot of information and you can take a trip and bring yourself to Tennessee and see what it's like in Tennessee. You might end up liking it and coming home too <laughs> and seeing how it is out here in the South, you know, uh, and getting out of the rat race and things. Um, I keep looking around because I'll be watching my girl. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> Them chickens are something else. So yeah, we're gonna be raising a lot of chickens, like I said, for produce. We're gonna have a little, make us a little produce stand, have eggs, um, the vegetables, have us an orchard. You know, you already know, I'm just slowly collecting, collecting, collecting. You see them birds collect to build their nest. That's what we're doing. Yeah. So. Yeah, I appreciate y'all tuning in. 
so that she's going to do the rest of the introduction for us, you know, what channel, or Google, or whatever, because I don't care for all this talk. No, they ain't going to know until we get ready to get out there. That's when they'll know what the new channel name is. You see that, yeah. He just don't like being in the camera, but that's okay. That's okay. So, we just wanted to give you a upcap, if that's a word, a recap um, on what's going on. Update. Update on what's going on. And also, as we're speaking, um, we want to thank y'all for your prayers for his niece and my niece, Tabitha. Um, she's She's being well taken care of. If you haven't known, um, she, you know, went in for a checkup and she had to go immediately to the uh, emergency room. They wanted her to get in and get admitted in. Um, so, uh, believe me, we're going to have a time where we talk about that. You know what I'm saying? So y'all know what's going on with our niece and everything. Just keep her uplifted in prayer as well. So, we want to thank y'all for coming to l and Honeycomb Homestead, showing love to our channel, giving us a lot of support, and um, until then, y'all, have you a wonderful and blessed day. Bye-bye.